if you want to use a tick or cross symbol in a drop down list, it's not very easy. You can't use the normal insert symbol because what you see in the drop down list is not actually the tick or cross. So what you can do is if you come to our website, you'll see there's a little tick you can copy or you can find them on the internet or across. And you'll see it's actually a tick. And I'm gonna highlight it and copy it, Control C. I'm gonna put it into our data validation here. So it's asking, will you bring your own computer to the course? I'm gonna go to data, data validation. It's gonna be a list. And by the source, I'm gonna paste the tick for now I'm just going to say okay do the same thing here I'm going to copy the cross go here data validation come here for my computer I use a comma and then I'll paste it so there's the cross there and I say okay and now when you look at the drop down you'll see you've got a tick or a cross now what I want to do is if it's ticked that's a problem for us we want it to turn red if it's a cross we want it to turn green they're not bringing their computer so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to just format that in the bad color so if it's actually ticked and what i now want to happen that if it's a cross it must turn green so i'm just gonna again copy that click onto that cell there go home conditional formatting highlight cells rules if it is equal to and I'm going to paste the cross in then I want it to turn green and when I say okay you'll see if they tick it it turns red if they put a cross it turns green and it's noticing these things we can e even use it in an if function so I'm just going to Again, copy this. And I'm now going to build the if function. It's going to be equals if that cell over there, in this case, I'm going to say doesn't equal to inverted commas, and I'm going to paste control V the tick, then something must happen. So I'm going to just put here 342, otherwise zero, close bracket. But notice the tick is actually in the if function. And you'll see there's the 342. So when I tick, it actually reacts. So this tick and cross works on the data validation, it works on the conditional formatting, and you can even use it in formula.